Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new paper collection, Knit Picky Fall. I love this collection so much, so let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, we're going to check out the 12 by 12 papers. And this whole collection was inspired by knitting and knit textures. So here you'll see our crew neck sweater paper. It's absolutely beautiful with those multicolored leaves. And then on the back, we have a tone on tone in a beautiful turquoise. Here is our cozy cardigan paper, and I love this orange argyle so much. And then on the back, you'll see that we have this great knit texture that it almost looks like you're looking at knitting on the piece of paper. This is the Knee High Socks paper, and I love this green so much because it makes the perfect grass on cards. Next up, we have our Table Runner paper, and I love this so much. It's just like quintessential fall colors. And then on the back, we have this awesome Tone on Tone turquoise. Next up, we have our Leg Warmers paper in this beautiful pink. It's a great way to add a little unexpected color into your fall projects. It, that pink just makes me smile. And then last but not least, we have Sweater Vest in this awesome brown, which is a classic, beautiful fall color. And on the back, we have that great knit texture too. So here is a look at the both A sides and B sides of all of the papers of this collection together. They're so much fun. I love the mix of multicolored with more of like a solid color. And so first up, we're going to take a little look at those solid colors. And how I like to think of these papers is almost like a solid cardstock with a little extra something because it's got that great tone on tone knit texture to it. I just love these so much. And then here is a look at those A sides that have the fun multicolors. And so you can see that mixing and matching these is just awesome. You can take one of the solids and mix it with one of the multicolors and it just turns out to be the most fun, cute cards. Next up, we're going to take a look at the 6x6 six six pad. And I love this pad because it has the same patterns, but they've all been reduced by about 50%. So they're smaller for smaller projects like cards and mini albums and things like that. So here you can see those beautiful colors and those great multi-knit patterns that are just awesome. And what I love about the 6x6 six six pad is it has three of each of the paper. So there's 36 sheets total. So that means that you don't have to hoard because you're going to have three of each so that you can make plenty of projects. So here you can see that the the pattern kind of there repeats there three times so you get three of that awesome little multicolored leaf and all of the other papers too. And here is a look comparing the 6x6 to the 12x12 so you can see the differences in scale. I just use one or the other depending on what my project needs so I love mixing and matching these. So now it's time to make a card with this awesome paper collection, and we're going to be recreating a gorgeous card by Letitia today, so thank you so much, Letitia. And I'm taking my stitched leaves dies, which are some of my favorite dies of all time, and I'm going to go ahead and die cut them from a bunch of the different patterns in the 6x6 pad. So I'm kind of just thumbing through the pad, looking to see which colors I would like the leaves to be out of. I'm going to go ahead and die cut those, and now you can see that I have these awesome fall leaves in the most beautiful colors. Oh my goodness, I am so ready for fall. I love this so much. Much. So here I am taking a standard size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm just going to score that there with my bone folder and fold that cardstock down. And next I'm going to be playing around with the new wood grain cardstock. Oh my goodness, I love this white color. It's like having white cardstock with a little extra something with that gorgeous texture, and I feel like it's really going to go well with the leaves too. So I want to glue all of these leaves onto my card, but I want them to be at varying heights. So I'm doing the leaves at the bottom of my pile of leaves with the thin foam adhesive, and then I'm going to switch to the thicker foam adhesive from there. And so I like that it's going to give it a ton of texture and a ton of dimension by mixing the two levels of foam. You could even double up some of your foam to get an even higher up leaf. So you'll see that I'm going to create a pile of leaves by kind of taking two of a similar leaf and kind of going up and down and now left to right. And then we're going to take the smaller leaves and kind of tuck those in, filling in the area. And they all have foam adhesive on them. So I'm just going to kind of move the leaves. Those were a little too close to each other. So I'm going to separate those out and then kind of cover up the gap there with my other smaller leaves right in the center. Now that I have the cutest pile of leaves ever, I'm going to take out my pick of the patch stamp set and I'm going to use the happy fall sentiment from this. And I'm going to stamp that out in some walnut ink. Then I'm going to take a sentiment banner die. I'm going to line that up with my stamp sentiment and hold it in place with some low tack tape so that it stays in perfect placement while I run it through my die cut machine. 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I run my dies through my die cut machine, I have a little bit of imprinting, especially if I have some older kind of cut up plates in there. So here you'll see I have a little bit of imprinting right up there on that banner die. So I'm gonna take the new bone folder, it's made out of Teflon, and I'm just gonna burnish those edges there, and you'll see that that imprinting is all gone. So I'm just burnishing that right out, and now I have a nice and perfect die cut. Now, Letitia had done this really cool thing where she actually cut the end of her banner at an angle, and I thought it was the cutest little idea. It just adds that extra something to the card. So I'm gonna cut at an angle with my scissors just like that. Then I'll add some foam tape to my banner and layer that on top of my leaves. And now my card is all done. Oh my goodness, I love that wood grain texture on the card base with the colorful fall leaves. It makes me ready just for like a pumpkin spice latte or something. <laughs> And now we're gonna take a look at some awesome cards by the design team using Knit Picky Fall. And I love this cute caramel apple card by Shari with that awesome argyle in the background. And here I love how Audrey used that knit texture for the sky, the tree, and the ground. It's so cool. This card by Lynette is so sweet. I love how she used those fall leaves kind of like a little wallpaper with her sentiment in the picture frame. And here is the card by Letitia that inspired me to make mine today. I just adore this card by Megan and how she created that whole front panel from that gorgeous tone-on-tone -tone turquoise paper from Knit Picky Fall. And then here I love how Elena used the orange argyle as her sky. It's perfect for her little fall squirrels. I love how Melissa combined Knit Picky papers with the knock on wood from last year. They're a perfect combo in her gorgeous layout. And I love this watercolor sky by Lizzie layered onto that beautiful pattern paper. And then here I love how Shari combined all of those colors together to make such an adorable fall reveal wheel card. And then here Kay created a awesome scallop treat box using the Knit Picky Fall. I think it looks so cool for Halloween. I also adore this card by Kay using the double slider combining a ton of the Knit Picky Fall papers. And this layout by Melissa is so beautiful. I love how she cut the pictures from the apples and layered the squares of pattern paper together. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with Knit Picky Fall, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.